And I call on International Career Support Association. Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. President. Let me share an astonishing story on the, with you on the comfortable issue. In short, the United Nations was misinformed on this controversial and emotional issue. Twenty years ago, in 1996, the UN Committee accepted Special Rapporteur Ms. Kumaraswamy's report. It concluded comfort women should be called sex slaves. The core reference supporting this conclusion was Yoshida Seiji's testimony that he was involved in slave raids in his book titled My War Crimes. The report has, however, been proven groundless. In fact, later, both the publisher and Yoshida admitted his book was a fictitious and not a testimony at all. In addition, last month, Yoshida's son confessed that his father wrote this book by looking at a map of the site where he had never been. Yoshida's son said, my father fabricated stories. However, the term six slaves spread all over the world. Some Korean uh, organizations have been putting up comfort women statues and monuments with fabricated story engraved in Korea, United States, Australia, and Germany. Because of these activities, Japanese children living in the United States have been badly bullied and discriminated. Recently, their parents submitted petitions to Prime Minister Abe to seek for the government support. Many Japanese citizens have started to request the government to reduce or stop annual contribution to the UN that amount to approximately 300 million US dollars. We, therefore, urge the UN to send another special rapporteur to Japan to examine the authenticity of the Kumara Swami report. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, sir, for your statement.